Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> uh, today I'm taking a look at um, what looks very much like a Debian install. However, this is the new Devawan. Now it's spelled D E V U A N. Devawan came about <clears throat> because of the disagreement within Debian over the sys init um, process. And what happened was uh, the folks at Debian, uh, as you know, switched over to System D. And there was a faction within Debian that wanted to stay with the um, sysv init, S Y S V I N I T, <clears throat> which was the current Debian um, init program or init process. And uh, there was a, a big disagreement. Debian, the folks at Debian, the, the leaders, uh, took a vote and decided to move forward with the switch to System D. There were a group within Debian that objected so strongly that they decided to fork Debian into a new distribution uh, called Devawan. D-E-V-U-A-N. Now, I noticed it on DistroWatch. <clears throat> they announced it as a distribution that was added to their database. So, I, uh, it looked very much like a standard Debian XFCE install. So, I went ahead and um, paid a visit to their website. And I decided to download and install it. Now, the installer is identical to the install process that I went through with you recently. It's identical, step for step, there are, are no differences. Um, if you select the uh, XFCE uh, version, then what you end up with is uh, pretty much identical to a Debian install, except it is Devawan. Now, <clears throat> what that means to the user and again, I'm no expert at it, but based on this install, it looks like pretty much everything is the same except for the sources list. Um, so let me go through a couple of comparisons. Uh, and and I, I'll tell you, I, I think Devilwan has a really uphill climb in order to become accepted um, because of the similarities to Debian. I don't believe, and I could be wrong, guys, and you can give me your opinion, but I don't believe the average Linux user cares whether they're using SysV in it or SystemD. They just want a system that works and that is stable. Uh, Debian moved to SystemD. Devawan continues with SysV in it. They have a similar uh, platform in that <clears throat> their stable release uh, is Jesse. The testing release is ASCII. The unstable release is Ceres. Now the stable release of Debian is Jesse. Uh, testing is Stretch. Unstable is SID. Now, when I did the install, as I said, it was identical to a Debian install. There, there were no differences. Everything is, is the same. Once I finish the install, everything appears to be the same as you would have if you did a Debian install. The applications, <clears throat> there are some differences in applications. Now, on their website, they do have a download um, location, um, install instructions, a list of their mirrors. They do have packages. Now, packages forked from Debian. 381 packages forked from Debian. As you can see, basically the inner workings of the 
Linux system um, is pretty much the same. It uses Pulse Audio, Cups, everything uh, appears to follow the same Debian scheme. Uh, there are uh, a couple of packages that were built specifically for Devawan. Devawan, base CONF, and Jenkins Debian Glue build. So it's, it's, these are native packages. There are only two. And then the blacklisted packages, of course, are systemd related because Devawan does not use systemd. Now, <clears throat> pretty much all of Linux has moved to systemd. And so, as I said, that's why I think there'll be an uphill climb. Now, there are some uh, distributions that have cropped up that use um, Devawan, and they're listed here. <clears throat> but these are not what I consider to be mainstream distributions. <clears throat> you guys can take a look at them and see if, some, if it's something that you'd like to uh, install just for testing purposes. Um, I would prefer at this point just to stick with the Devawan, the plain Devawan install. Now the sources, as I mentioned, are different. Let's see if we can pull up Synaptic. Now what they're saying is you cannot mix sources. You, uh, if you are running Devawan, you, you should not add in Debian sources. And then if you're running Debian, you should absolutely not <coughs> add in Devawan sources. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, for some reason, um, Synaptic did not come up. So let's see if we can take a look at the sources list. Okay, so let's open this up a little bit. So we've got, as you can see, uh, Devawan merged Jesse. So evidently they are pulling in um, some information that's comparable to Jesse. So they're hoping to entice people, I believe, that would normally install Jesse to, to install their, their stable release, which is also called Jesse. But when you move into um, the testing and, and unstable branches, that their names change. Okay, so you've got a couple of sources here based on Jesse, main, non-free, and contrib. Then you've got um, security sources and then updates sources. So it follows the same scheme, but they're using their own sources and I believe they are tapping into uh, the Debian um, because they have forked 381 packages, I believe they're pulling in that information. So there's a lot um, of similarities, the install, the, as you can see from the package list, um, everything, if you didn't know you were looking at Devawan, you'd, you'd swear this was a, a, a Debian install. I mean, it's, it's got everything that Debian would normally have and then you can add to it what you will. Now I added GUVC View, Kazam, OpenShot, SM Player, and Pulse Audio Volume Control. I added those. Everything else came with it. Uh, it is a st standard XFCE install. Now I do believe that they have one other desktop available. So if I uh, go to the download section let's see well it looks like <clears throat> you can get the beta AMD 64 or you can get 
the, the 32-bit also. Uh, and when you do the install, as when you, uh, if I remember correctly, when I did the install, it gave me the same desktop choices as Debian. So it is possible that you can install pretty much any desktop environment on top of this. Uh, there's a lot of information online. They are now part of the uh, DistroWatch um, uh, uh, database. Um, there's information uh, explaining what's going on, why they exist. And as I mentioned, I think they have an uphill battle ahead of them. But um, I'm sure that they have a uh, a core group that uh, is loyal to them from within the Debian, the original Debian group. So that is it, guys. Uh, I just wanted to make you aware of this um, new, new. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a. Uh, we'll call it a distribution. A new um, distribution, very similar to to Debian. It's called Devawan. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.